in the 1960s there was this researcher whose name was dr karl richer he did a very cruel experiment super cruel experiment he took some rats put them in a jar of water and watched what happens obviously the rats started swimming and after some time the rats started giving up they went to the bottom of the jar and started drowning so this was a cruel experiment to find out how long will the rats swim before they give up and die name of the researcher dr karl richer actually the rats must be thinking his name should be poorer not richer it was a very bad joke by the way <laughs> what a comparative surname no richer rich bhi nahi इमेजिन मीटिंग समबड़ी हु आर यू रिचर मतलब एव ए शो ऑफ इमेजिन मिलिन नेम इज नॉट मिलिन मेहता बट मिलिन स्मार्टर हु आर यू आई एम स्मार्टर थोड़ा दो इट इज द ट्रूथ है ना मिलिन वट यू से सुमित एकदम ट्रूथ ना सुमित इज सेंग फॉर मी इट शुड बी हैंड समर richer average time for which these rats swam was about 15 minutes 15 in 15 minutes almost everybody kind of saying bas ho gaya yaar meaningless chhod jaan de and they died Now inside the classroom, when you give examples like this, somebody might ask, "How do you know what the rats are thinking?" You can always say, "I was one of those rats." So the hajir jawab le nega. Then they twisted the experiment a little. When they realized that almost all the rats are giving up around 15 minutes. the moment they will find the rat is struggling and they are beginning to go to the bottom of the jar which means abhi usne chhod diya hi mat sab they would take that rat out put it to dry for some time allow it to rest for 2 3 minutes and then put the rat back again they would do that 2 3 times and then the experiment number 2 will start once i have done this twice or thrice to the rats now let me watch how long do the rats swim before they go to the bottom now i've taken this story 5 years ago when we had this session and i'm taking it again today would you guess how long did the rats who have been taken out and given a rest for 2 to 3 minutes after couple of these experiences now they are left to swim how long did the rats swim before giving up 1 hour 2 hours 5 hours 20 minutes 35 minutes the answer is 60 hours 60 60 hours almost 250 times more than earlier earlier they believed my capacity is over in 15 minutes i can't take more of it and it's about death it is not about a order for which you are chasing a customer it's about making an end or putting an end to your life and yet the mind says nahi hota mere se नहीं होगा मेरे से बहुत स्ट्रगल हो गया इससे ज्यादा मैं सहन नहीं कर सकता मेरे से नहीं हो पाएगा माय मसल्स डोंट हैव स्ट्रेंथ एंड येट 
how did that 15 minutes become 60 hours? Same kind of rats. So domesticated rats. And yet, how did suddenly their capacity go up 250 times? Carl Richard decided the difference between the first experiment and the second experiment is in the second experiment, the rats were hoping that I will be saved. The rats were given this experience that just when you are thinking about giving up, you will be saved. Around 15 minutes, when everything inside them said, give up. Because they were taken out, they started thinking. If I reach that stage where I can't, I will be saved. Hope increased their capacity by 250 times. Not 5%, not 10%, not 50%, not 100%. 250 times. That's the power of hope. You and me are not rats. But both of us need hope to swim in the difficult times of our life. The capacity we have is 60 hours. We give up in 15 minutes. The power that we have can sustain us for 60 hours. We give up in what? 0.25% what our capacity is. Dr. Carl Richard's experiment was a very, very cruel experiment. It led to the death of many rats. But it showed the world the power of hope. In the classroom, you will move to the next point after this. But for all of us over here, let's go deeper. Is there any aspect of life where you are struggling? Where you think of yourself as poor me, I bechara, I bechari, mere saath galat ho raha hai. Itna maine kiya, lekin fir bhi. Whether it is success, whether it's happiness, whether it's relationships. Can you just write down one or two or three areas in life where you are despondent, where you have despair? where you're going to replace it with hope. Because if you're thinking of giving up, remember your potential is 250 times more. You're giving up at about 0.25%. Can you think of any area of your life? Something which is important to you.
maybe some of you are blessed that your life is smooth. And all of us are blessed that we get a chance to do these exercises. But if there is something which is important to you and if you can just think about it and write down, okay, this aspect of life, I am not going to give up. And if I am thinking of giving up, it shows me 0.25% mark has been reached. Now it's very possible. Did anyone get something? Show of hands, how many of you found something where you are not going to give up? Beautiful, thank you and all the best. And if I can help you in any way, send me a message, let me know, we will get into a small conversation. And let's figure out how to make beautiful, significant progress there. In life school, when we do this training program called Let's Explore, one of the statements I will repeatedly make is, leaders, lovers and teachers do not have the right to give up. We don't have the right to give up. If you think you are leading someone, children, spouse, some colleagues, some friends, you can lead them. Because you have clarity, they don't. You have found the place, they are still lost. If you think you are leaders, you don't have the right to go. <clears throat> if you love someone, you don't have the right to give up on them. And of course, if you're a teacher, but somebody is depending on you for direction, somebody is looking forward to you to learn, you don't have the right to give up. And in some of these situations that you've written, you might be a leader, lover, and a teacher. So three times more reason you can't give up. In my childhood, my mother would often say a statement which I never understood. Umid pe dunya kaya mein. A nice sounding statement. But the gravity of that statement was understood much later. And since I'm reminded about my childhood, let me share an incident that happened in my childhood. Now, if anybody over here has a very powerful personal story, you can share that inside the classroom. If you do not have a very powerful personal story, then you can use my story. And you can say, the founder of Keep Moving Movement, this is what they went through. 1985 86. These two years were very beautiful in my life. 1985, I was in the 9th standard. 1986, I was in the 10th standard of my school. I was a student of a school called Hartley's High School in Calcutta. By virtue of God-given grasping power, I could study well. My efforts were not high, but it was just something which clicked into place. So I always come first in class. In class 10, I was made the head boy of the school. I was made to feel important. It was almost like I was the first citizen of the school because head boy gets a preference on everything. So obviously there was no lines for me, everybody used to wait for me and I would inspect the entire school. I was given a lot of importance. I was also told I am doing some meaningful work. I am helping create the culture of the entire school. And for a 15 year old boy, this was like a huge thing. That I am helping build something. So my life is not just studies, but my life is also about, kuch to ho power hai. 
I can punish people, I can give somebody some special privileges, I can appoint monitors, lot of privileges. So I felt power in my life for the first time when I was in class 10. After 10, we had to move to another school for high school. So class 11th and 12th was not in Hartley's high school. For that, we shifted to a school called St. Lawrence. In St. Lawrence, there were about 80 children in my class. And in Hartley's, in my class, there were about 32 children. Now the tragedy in St. Lawrence is, children who have come first and second and third in more than 20 schools are all studying in class 11 in St. Lawrence. Why are all of you so happy with my tragedy? I thought you were my friends. So even if I am studying at my best, I came around 25th. It was like shame for me. Ye kya ho gaya? My efforts are not less. The intelligence is the same. But the standard of the class has just gone through the roof. Now if my parents ask me, what was first? You know, that is how I have grown up. There was no joy in the house when I come first. It's, if Rohit Sharma hits a six, you, you don't matlab. If Arshadeep Singh hits a sixer, you might see it three times. So it was almost like Vapas first. And I would say, ha, first yata. Any one of you has that curse? Every time you come first, it's like, what's the big deal? In the eleventh, if people are asking me, Vapas first, I feel like boxing their face. I actually started slipping in my life. I started having friends with those students who were not doing better than me. So in their company, I felt very good. Ye 32nd, ye 40th, ye 52nd. I 25th. I said, I am so I started saying, my friends group is first in that group. You see the escape? Anybody like that over here? You don't have to raise your voice, high ends. I have to raise my hands like this. And some of these guys who have come to the school, they have no intention of learning. They are here for Masti. So they will poke fun at the teacher. We used to have a teacher who teaches bookkeeping. His body weight would be about 42 to 43 kgs. If you sneeze in front of him, you have to check your eyes whether he's still there. And our bookkeeping book used to be fat. So he couldn't carry it standing. He had to carry it like this only. So half the class would only go in terrorizing that sir. And I was with this group who used to throw the chalk. I wanted importance. I wanted power. Because I'm used to that. Now suddenly I get power by disturbing others. See, I have power and control over their happiness. I can make them miserable. My 11th standard was a kind of a disaster. In the 12th standard, again I am doing badly. And I'll tell you what used to be my thoughts at that point of time. Naren, why are you not doing well in life? And I would say, if only I had a girlfriend in life, no, my life would become better. Because when things are not going right in life, 
mind starts saying you are good but that is missing hence you are going through this so if only i had a girlfriend my life would be better if only the teacher was more interesting my life would be better if only the question paper was easier i would have done really well if only i had better friends ये कंपनी मेरा गलत है अच्छे लोगों का कंपनी होता ना आई वुड हैव डन मच बेटर एंड माय लाइफ वाज ऑल अबाउट इफ ओनली 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 आई स्टडीड इन सेंट लॉरेंस फ्रॉम माय एलकेजी माय लाइफ वुड हैव बीन मच बेटर सो हु टू ब्लेम माय पेरेंट्स हु सेंट मी टू हार्टलेस हाई स्कूल वो अच्छा कॉम्पिटेटिव एटमोस्फियर में भेजा ही नहीं सेंट लॉरेंस जैसे बच्चों के पास मेरी क्या गलती है इफ ओनली बिकेम माई फेवरेट फ्रेस इफ ओनली आई वॉज बेटर लुकिंग माई लाइफ वुड बी बेटर बिकॉज द नीड इज वॉट अटेंशन द नीड इट वॉट पावर द नीड इज वॉट अ सेंस ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंस एंड इफ आई डोंट हैव इट it's not my fault something else is not okay and that one year of my life i slipped into non performance the time for me to take a pause this is what you discuss in the classroom now think about your life what part of your life do you think and say if only if only i had more money i would have been very successful if only my childhood was better i would have done well in life if only i had gone to a great school my life would be much better if only my clients were more understanding if only the market was bigger and of course if only i was good looking if only my father understood me and gave me the support that i require if only my partner was cooperative if only my wife understood me if only my husband understood me on a more practical note if only i had a better kaam wali bhai or if only i had good employees acche log nahi milte yaar main to dhua dhar hai main ek number hai main the best in the world hai log acche nahi milte it will be interesting for you to just think and write down a few if onlys in your life just be honest with yourself honesty is the best policy it's not about you and me you have to be honest it is you have to be honest with yourself like i know joe will get a lot of calls if only there was more convenient time for me to take the session no i would have definitely gone to the school if only there was a school closer to me no i would have definitely gone if only you know this was right i would have definitely done if only that was right no i would have been definitely done and yet people who want to find a way they find a way तुम्हारे लाइफ की क्या इफ ओनलीज है इफ आई वॉज मोर एजुकेटेड अरे यार मैं तो क्या सतारा में मेरी पढ़ाई हुई इसके लिए मेरी इंग्लिश वीक है ना इसके लिए मेरा कॉन्फिडेंस थोड़ा ठीक नहीं है इफ ओनली आई हैड गॉन टू अ कॉन्वेंट स्कूल नो इफ इफ देर इज एन इफ ओनली इन योर लाइफ द रीजन वाई यू होल्ड योर सेल्फ बैक जस्ट राइट दैट इफ ओनली very genuinely 
What are your if onlys? Yes, darling. Yeah. Yeah. If only I was more disciplined. Yeah. Right? If only I was more focused. Absolutely. Wonderful. Yeah. I won't be able to answer it today, but send me a message. We'll get on a call. But that's a beautiful thought. I'm not blaming anything in the world outside, but I'm looking at myself and saying, if only I had taken that opportunity, if only I had not done that mistake, if only I had this quality. Perfect, beautiful, very well thought. Now let's come back to the classroom, if you've done. How many of you could find some if onlys? Amazing. I think a better question would have been, is there anybody who did not find a single if only? And I'm so glad, so, so glad that you are doing this exercise so beautifully. Now, what you will do in the classroom is, you will twist things around. Now, that is what I'm going to do with you also. Now, visualize that you are a smart person in life. And in front of you, there is Naren, who's about 17 years old, who is sitting and telling you, Yaar, main to, matlab, pe bhi first hi aata tha main. All my life I have come first. Yaar to bhi mera first pakka tha. If only. If only I was better looking, no, no, teachers would have given me more attention. That fellow over there, that is more better looking. Teachers are usi ka sunta hai, mera sunta hi nahi hai. If only I was better looking. Now tell me what is wrong with my thoughts. This is what you will do to the classroom and that is what I am doing with you. Think about all the if onlys I said. Tell me what is wrong with my thinking or is my thinking right? How many of you believe my thinking was right when I was 17 years old? When I had a list of if onlys why I am not doing well? That if these things were right my life would have been great. Would it have happened like that if I was better looking, I would have scored more? Or if I had a girlfriend, I would have scored more? Any one of you has that kind of a personal experience? You had a girlfriend and you came first? In fact, the opposite might be the truth. So what was wrong with my thinking? Please, tell me. I'm not taking charge? Not taking charge of my life, no? Okay, what else is wrong with my thoughts? You are free to criticize me. I mean, you can't I, I can't change any one of this. So what was wrong with my thinking? I'm just moping on it and feeling sympathetic towards myself and not doing anything about it. Okay, Sripal? Very past oriented, not futuristic and progressive, okay? Absolutely. Jessica? I was looking for excuses. Okay, what else? I am not taking responsibility for my, my, my friend over there. Sorry? Focusing on what I don't have. Okay? I am still in the past. Na? Yes? Blaming others?
हाँ पास्ट में किया था तो फ्यूचर में कैसे तो भी अपने आप हो जाना चाहिए सतीश इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू बी हेल्पफुल फॉर मी एट ऑल यस फाइंडिंग रीजन टू प्रूव माई सेल्फ दैट इफ आई एम सफरिंग इन लाइफ इट्स एब्सोल्यूटली राइट है ना जस्टिफाइंग दैट यस डियर एकदम कंफर्ट जोन में ना बिल्कुल हाँ फियर ऑफ चैलेंज फियर ऑफ चैलेंजिंग माई सेल्फ एंड यू नो एन एक्स्ट्रा वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस ट्रेजिडी इज मोस्ट ऑफ दीज पॉइंट आर इमेजिनरी None of them is true. None of them is true. It's not that if I had great friends, by default my life will become great. It is not that if I have better teachers, by default I would have come first. It is not that if the paper was easier, by default I would have done excellently well. it is definitely not if i had a girlfriend by default i would have come first so all these reasons that i am thinking about none of them are valid not a single one of them is valid in spite of all of these i still have could have done better in turn we seek imaginary reasons to give up we don't even want solid reasons imaginary reason so if i am in chennai i can always say itna garam hai na that is why i don't like to exercise but that's an imaginary reason it's not the real reason if only siyagarh was closer to my house no i would have to gone up and down so many times अबे जहां रहता है वहां फर्स्ट फ्लोर तो लिफ्ट यूज करता है सी अगर पास हो तो ऊपर जाता था देन यू वुड हैव सीट जो पास में ना उसका वैल्यू नहीं होता द रीजन फॉर विच यू हैव गिवन अप आर ऑल इमेजिनरी द रीजन फॉर विच आई वॉज गिविंग अप बट ऑल इमेजिनरी fortunately i had a friend called vinay rathi his mother used to love me more than she would love her own son and she would say ye naren ki company mein na mera beta ban jayega and one day it hit me if people are thinking about me as the right company how can it be true that i am saying i don't have the right company ye to mere thinking mein gadbad hai and that day i heard this song from this movie called meri jung 1985 86 this movie called meri jung had come Uh, it's not about rust on an iron so meri jung matlab <laughs> it's about ladai yudh jung as in fight hmm? no some of you know i was in iron and steel business so that was not the motivation to go into iron and steel the background of the movie is anil kapoor's father was falsely implicated in a case and sentenced to death by this lawyer amrish puri who's called as thakral no villain ka naam aisa hona chahiye <laughs> thakral well, naam mein lagta hai ki kuch to hai chandu ye, ye, ye villain ka naam nahi ho sakta gabbar matlab villain ka naam lagta hai शाकाल विलन का नाम लगता है नरेन हीरो का ही नाम हो सकता है थैंकफुल आई हैव बेटर सेल्फ एस्टीम नाउ सो 
So the movie is about Amrish Puri in his worst villain avatar sending this guy, knowing fully well that this guy is innocent, sentences him. And then of course Anil Kapoor grows up, becomes a lawyer and sentences Amrish Puri's son, I think it was Gulshan Grover, to death. In that movie, this song became kind of anchor song. Zindagi har kadam ik nai jang hai. And then the next line, Jeet jayenge hum, tu agar sang hai. These lines seem to change my life. Jeet jayenge hum. And these, this phrase stuck. Jeet jayenge hum. Harne ka zarut nahi hai. Even if I don't have, if only, if only, if only, if only, if only, nahi hai ye sab. Phir bhi jeet jayenge hum. From the voice of despair, the song gave birth to voice of hope. The rat which was ready to sink in 15 minutes became a lion who did not understand what is giving up in life. And that's why when I speak about giving up is not an option, it comes from experience and it comes from power. I know what self-loathing, self-sympathy, self-suffering was for a few months in my life. And though even after 12th, everything about my life changed. That self-sympathy never came back. It was not, if only I have this, if only I have this, if only I have this. It was, jit jayenge. Today, I'm doing well in life. Twice TEDx speaker. I'm an advisor to TEDx. I've written 15 books. We have sold more than probably 75,000 copies till now. 25,000 when we were publishing, 50,000 by the publisher right now. So totally about 75,000 books. Very soon it might become one lakh copies. We write LSM every Tuesday and it will be about 15 years since we started. And it goes to readers in 44 countries. Tomorrow I am starting batch 150 of my life. Not many people get a chance to conduct a training program 150 times. I am on the board of six organizations. We had a postal stamp issued in honor of Keep Moving Movement. So the postal department has issued a postal stamp in our name. <laughs> Next time when we have a live session, probably I'll ask Joe to bring that postal stamp and show it to all of you. Or maybe in our groups, we'll just put that postal stamp for you to see what is the kind of stamp that we have. We today run the largest volunteer-based grassroots life skills training program in our country. Life is beautiful. Which means from that guy who in 11th standard only heard voices of despair to a person today who only hears voice of hope. From the rat who was willing to give up in 15 minutes to somebody who doesn't know how to give up. The journey was a small change. How did this happen? How did this transformation happen? From a life of immense struggle to a life where there is immense strength. This struggle's a strength ka gap ke piche bridge ke Three very simple mantras. Three very, very simple mantras. So this is how you build the class. You speak about Carl Richer and the rat experiment. 
then you speak about either your life and it has to be honest, authentic. If you have really gone through that and if today you are a person who actually only listens to the voice of power inside your head, you, you, you don't carry that voice of shame inside you. Then you speak about your element of life story or you speak about my story. And then you say that transformation happened because of three things. And these are three mantras that we are giving to you in life. Mantra number one. Not a single human being on this planet is 100% confident all the time. Nobody is 100% guaranteed confidence all the time. So if we have our moments of doubt, it's okay. We just need a little time to figure out a solution. The sound will come. And then you say, I say, doubt again, but I don't want this thought. So what can be possible progress? So if you have voices of doubt, it's natural, it's okay. The best of athletes, the best of sports people, the best of performers have these voices. They don't become victims to these voices. But the voice does come. It's like in your house, dust comes. But you clean it the moment you see the dust. If there is dust, it does not mean it's, you are irresponsible. It just means it's time to clean. It's as simple as that. If you have fallen down, it doesn't mean you cannot walk. It just means it's time to get up. If you are frustrated, it doesn't mean you are a disaster or you have to be guilty or you have to beat yourself. It just means I need to find ways by which I can focus on progress and not frustration. So I spoke to many people and I love to speak to people. And when I speak to them, I invariably ask them, in your life, what were the moments of doubt? And people have extraordinary stories to share. That I wanted to do this, I had my doubts. But then I decided to give it my 100% and more. So having doubts are natural. But don't be a victim. Be a master to those thoughts. If face karna. Agar thand lag rahi hai na, coat pen le. Jada garmi lag rahi hai, thanda pi le. Ab to puri zindagi garmi mein nikalne wali hai. Kya hai ye? So the first mantra was, nobody will be 100% confident 100% of the times. So if I have moments of doubts, it's okay. So I didn't have unrealistic expectations from myself, okay, from today onwards, no doubts. Then I'll be an idiot. Idiots don't have any doubts whatsoever. Especially on them being idiots. They're so confident of their brain. And wise people always think they don't know enough. That's why I love the title of that book by Sudha Murthy, Wise and Otherwise. So first mantra, having doubts is natural. No one can be 100% confident 100% of the times. Mantra number two. And this is very, very interesting. Mantra number two says, if you have a big goal, you don't have to figure out the whole journey. 
यू जस्ट नीड टू नो वट आर द फर्स्ट फ्यू स्टेप्स यू आर गोइंग टू टेक कुछ बड़ा काम करना है ना ए टू जेड पूरा समझने का जरूरत नहीं है कुछ धुआंधार करना है क्या यू डोंट हैव टू फिगर आउट एवरीथिंग यू डू नॉट हैव टू फिगर आउट एवरीथिंग यू नीड टू फिगर आउट अ फ्यू थिंग्स आई वॉन्टेड टू राइट I decided I want to write. Why? Because when we used to have life lessons, and people would take notes, and then people would say, "Those days, WhatsApp was not there. Two thousand seven, eight, nine, ten. So we created a Google groups where I would write my thoughts of the week, my meeting that I had, and I post it to people. And they in turn will get it. That's how the LSM started. Life school messages. Okay, every Tuesday, let me write something. अनदर कॉज कैन बी बाई ट्यूजडे आई स्टार्टेड मिसिंग लाइफ स्कूलर्स संडे को तो मिलते ही है अरे ट्यूजडे हो गया है हर अभी संडे इतना दूर है सो हाउ टू गेट इन टच चलो एक एल एस एम लिख देते हैं बट आई डेंट नो दैट देर विल बी समथिंग कॉल्ड इंटरनेट विच विल स्प्रेड सो फास्ट एंड देर विल बी अ लिंक इन विच विल कम देर विल बी अ फेसबुक विच विल कम देर बी सो मेनी मीडियम एंड आई विल राइट बुक्स एंड नॉट वन बट फिफ्टीन and there will be a publisher who will ensure this book is even published in london and in us and you can get it delivered locally if i had to figure all this out when i started writing ke pura malum hona chahiye tha acha ek lakh copy tak kab kaise pahunchega pehle figure out karo it was not possible like keep moving movement we started thinking in the education space teachers are warriors and if one generation of teachers decide that we are going to uplift this country we can because the entire future of india right now is in the schools and if we can make teachers give life lessons to students in one single generation we will change the future of the country so we started kmm thinking we will work with teachers and those times internet was not there 2001 and we didn't have zoom we couldn't have even imagined that something like this will happen all across the country we had no idea it can happen in kashmir it can happen in jammu if i had to figure all of that out in 2001 it was not possible but the dream was there let me do something meaningful for my country so when you decide on something you don't have to have everything figured out you need to know the direction you need to travel in many people don't start their goals because they have not able to figure out every step you will never be able to figure out every step because things are changing so fast earlier to write a book might take 3 4 years today thanks to ai books can be written in probably one day's time seven days matlab it's too slow if i take a one year holiday i will write 50 books possible so the world changes if you want to figure everything out when you start it's not going to happen so that was my second mantra you have decided to do well in life you may not know everything about step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 to shuru to kar that was mantra number 2 what is mantra number 1 yeah having those voices of doubts is okay everybody or nobody is 100% confident all the times so if you have those bouts of hoga kya bouts of doubts as i call it it's okay second you don't have to figure everything out like if amit almal decides that he wants to be the fittest amongst his group of friends 
He doesn't need to figure everything out. Just which gym should I go to? And Marawadi, I have to say, gym. I have to gym. I have to say, gym. I have to say, it may be solved again. What could solve it again? Ne consa trainer kitna mehnat jato se. Jump in the water, you will learn how to fish. Point number three. So, mantra number one. Now and then, if your voices of self doubt, it's okay. Point number two, you don't have to figure out everything before you start. Decide the goal, decide the direction, or lagja. If your name was Munna Bhai, I would have also said Lagya Rao Munna Bhai. And point number three, very beautiful it is. Inside you, you will have voices of despair and voices of hope. You will have both these voices. Within you, you will listen to both these voices. Voices of despair and voices of hope. Voice of despair is loud. Chillata ho. Voice of hope is soft. It whispers. Voice of despair is ugly. It tears you. Voice of hope is sweet. Oh, pyar karta tere sir. Voice of despair fills you with shame. Voice of hope fills you with strength. Voice of despair encourages you to give up. Voice of hope encourages you to keep moving. Voice of despair tells you how difficult it is. Voice of hope tells you how beautiful it will be. Voice of despair talks to you about the unfairness. Voice of hope tells you about possibilities. Voice of despair makes you cry. Voice of hope makes you smile. Voice of despair is not your friend. Voice of hope is your best friend. Voice of despair is not interested in progress. Not interested in progress. Voice of hope focuses on progress. Voice of despair makes you suffer. Voice of hope prepares you to celebrate.
na inside you and me we will have both these voices question is which one will you allow to win dono hai which one will you allow to win so to sum up voice of despair i bracket unfairness in three parts people are unfair so it can be mother father wife employees friend colleagues business associates wo log theek nahi so people are unfair सिचुएशंस इन लाइफ इज अनफेयर ये मेरे साथ ही क्यों हुआ लाइक यार मेरे सेशन में एक घंटे क्यों बसता है वॉइस ऑफ डिस्पेयर और इट कैन बी ए रीजन फॉर ऑल ऑफ एस टू लाफ सी गॉड गिव्स मी नेचुरल सिचुएशंस सो इधर आई विल से पीपल आर अनफेयर or i'll say life is unfair or i'll say situations are unfair teen hi unfair hai ya to life ko blame karo ya logo ko blame karo ya abhi jo situation hai usko blame karo voice of despair always tells you these three things either people are unfair my daughter in law is not good enough my son in law is not good enough my in laws behave like outlaws samajhta hi nahi usko kitna karne ka puri zindagi nikal gayi karte karte you know, have you ever said these things see i have access to your brain kabhi samjhega kisi ko ki maine kya kya kiya hai are main nahi hota na you know something like that every wife looks at the husband and has the same thought me agar iske life mein nahi aati na koi aur isko itna nahi sambhalta ha huh? all the wives can give high five to each other <laughs> correct <laughs> what is voice of hope Voice of despair has this three language: life is not good, people are not good, situation is not good. Voice of hope says, "This is an opportunity. This is a test. Best is yet to come." and and i like these two words so what i don't have money so what i don't have great friends so what i don't have a mentor in my life so what i don't have a father like bill gates matlab sochna so what so any challenge in life which voice of despair is loudly saying voice of hope says so what to kya hoga so find the soldier who lost his leg with his crutch still does bhangra pair nahi hai so what so what what's the big deal a hardik pandya can say 
दिस इंटायर कंट्री रिजेक्टेड मी वॉज लाफिंग एट मी वॉज से लालची आदमी है शिफ्ट होके आ गया कैप्टनसी भी ले लिया एवरीबडी वॉज बूइंग मी एंड एवरी टाइम यू वुड परफॉर्म वेल इन दी वर्ल्ड कप यू वुड जस्ट डू दिस सो वॉट आई स्टिल गो एंड परफॉर्म and you see in 6 months time everything changed now adulation is back to that man who was being ridiculed 6 months back imagine 6 months ago he filled with anger koi mujhe nahi samajhta hai maine kya badi galti ki maine thode na bola tha rohit sharma ko nikalo voice of despair rote raho rote raho rote raho and voice of hope says so what your performance will make people understand your value lage raho do what you do there will be this fight inside your head all the time in your life voice of despair which wants to cry and complain and voice of hope we say so what and that's why another very strong philosophy of life school is no blame no complain no excuse a voice of despair ko na dafan kar do no blame no complain no excuse karne ka hi nahi kyu because i will give up in 15 minutes if i blame complain excuse it does not solve anything in my life it just gives me a license to die in 15 minutes inside that jar of water in voice of hope no blame no complain no excuses i'll swim for 60 hours chodenge nahi Nineteen sixty-eight Olympics marathon. People are running. The first runner from Ethiopia enters the stadium, and the whole stadium is on its feet, celebrating. At a thirty-kilometer mark. A guy called Joseph Akwari slipped and fell. He had a cut on his knees, bruised himself badly, and doctors on that path told him, "Please retire from the race. It's only thirty kilometers. You still have twelve more kilometers to run, and with this leg you can't." He didn't listen to anybody, and he continued. more than an hour after the last runner had completed not the first more than an hour after the last runner had completed joseph akwari limps inside the stadium a stadium where 35000 people were there in the beginning barely a few hundred people are there a little about 1000 people are still there in the audience and this guy limps inside the stadium and hobbles across the finishing line and just falls down and faints it is one of the most heroic efforts in the history of olympics later on when a reporter asks him why did you do this why did you not give up matlab you you were broken you had a broken body Joseph Akwari looks at that fellow and says my nation did not send me to the olympics to give up it sent me to the olympics to complete the race i was not sent over here to give up i was sent here to complete and he became my hero that olympics nobody remembers the winner everybody remembers joseph akwari a 
question for you. Inside his mind also, the voice of despair would have come. मेरे साथ ऐसा क्यों होता है? इतनी दूर से आया फिर ये रास्ते में पत्थर क्यों पड़ा था कौन नालायक है किसने अपना काम अच्छा नहीं किया ये शू मैन्युफैक्चरर ने शू अच्छा नहीं बनाया और इतनी गर्मी में कोई भागता है क्या लाइफ इज अनफेयर सिचुएशन इज अनफेयर पीपल आर अनफेयर दट वॉइस ऑफ डिस्पेयर मस्ट हैव कम बट समथिंग इन साइड हिम वुड ऑल्सो हैव वॉइस ऑफ होप बिकॉज ऑफ विच ई कंप्लीटेड So question who won the voice of hope or the voice of despair second question if you were in the place of joseph akwari would you have completed that race or would you have given up life looks absolutely okay if everything is smooth but the moment there is a difficulty we magnify the voice of despair so much hum behre ho jate aur kuch nahi sunai deta and that is what differentiates from somebody who had potential to somebody who is a champion you last children inside the classroom these two questions <coughs> whom do you think one the voice of despair or the voice of hope the voice of despair has two weapons blame and shame uski taakat hai either fill yourself with shame i am not good enough i can't do anything i let down people people have expectations but you know i only disappoint people i am not a good child i am not a good husband either fill yourself with shame i am not good looking enough i didn't do well in this i did. shame 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 is a weapon of voice of despair or it is blame these are two weapons shame and blame voice of hope also has a weapon and that is what some of you beautifully said take responsibility happily not take responsibility with frustration koi nahi karta to mujhe hi karna padega and i'll tell you small small things the doorbell rings you are seeing netflix and when nobody else gets up to open the door <coughs> ye bhi mujhe hi karna padega re baap what a sense of sacrifice netflix ko pause karna matlab live match bhi nahi hai kya zindagi hai yaar चैन से देख भी नहीं सकता मतलब ये चौथा मर्डर होने वाला था दिखने को ही नहीं मिला यार यू वॉन्ट टू पार्क समेर एंड दैट पार्किंग समबडी एल्स कम्स एंड पुट्स इन साइड यू नो द वॉइस ऑफ शेम टेक्स ओवर तेरे किस्मत में ना ढंग का पार्किंग भी नहीं अभी जा कर दो सौ मीटर दूर और फिर लटके वैसे लेके जा रहे क्या हुआ पार्किंग बहुत दूर मिला you know how we fill ourselves with shame sometimes if you have a bad hair day thanks god <laughs> no problem and a super lucky in fact all of you believe i am lucky go to any barber shop in 100 rupees you will have the same hairstyle <laughs> i'm telling you you can be as lucky as i am ha ke na no no you're not so lucky now 
you have a bad hair day and god knows what all things you blame aaj wahan jana hai baal dekho kaise ho rahe how will i main apna kaisa chehra dikhaun are there four five options chehra kaise dikha rahega or that another phrase is there kaun sa mu leke jaau kya options hai batao why so of shame you allow it to enter inside you effortlessly and the other is voice of blame some of you have done phd in voice of blame kuch bhi ho jaye life mein you will always find somebody to blame teacher mother wife husband neighbor bhai hmm weather 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 and sometimes it can be serials also is is serially itna interesting banate raat ko sona nahi hota i have to complete two more episodes left how can i sleep without completing tell me raat ko neend nahi aayegi abhi dekh raha hai to bhi neend kahan kar raha hai ha huh? any one of you like this you feel helpless in front of an interesting serial that's why it's called serial killers it kills you so why is of blame or why is of shame or it is voice of hope ho jayega i don't have to figure out the whole thing remember rule number 2 mantra number 2 kaise start karna samajh mein aa gaya na chalo karke dekhte why is of hope is fun because you progress despair is never fun it's tragedy so inside the classroom ask them how do you think joseph akwari was processing this thought or processing this situation gir gaya hu lag gaya hai kat gaya hai aur phir bhi bhag raha hai usne process kaise kiya hoga yahan pe doctors are telling him give up he looks at the bleeding and he can also say oh yo lag gaya khoon hai how did he process it what made him run another 12 kilometers with so much pain that he crossed the finishing line and he fainted can you imagine the energy required within where he is seeing that finishing light still 400 meters away because he has to complete that lap and he is not falling down what is he thinking how is he thinking if you are ambitious in your life you will have these moments where at the 30 km mark you will fall if you are ambitious in your life there will be people who love you who are your well wishers who will tell you give up but you know you have been sent to complete the race and not to give up So now my question to you is how will you think which will make you keep moving where your life story will be keep moving movement how will you process it tell me you are joseph akwari now how will you process it and you know yourself whether voice of despair is uh, strong inside you or voice of hope is strong inside you But now you are Joseph Akwari. What will you do? You yeah, know, to go back to that. Why did I come over here? So why did I start something? Just take the first few steps. You know, when we had the sports convention and uh, when we were training ourselves to run long. I remember Dr. Malhar Ganla, who was guiding us, was saying, "If you want to run long distance, develop the ability to run from pole to pole." So, if you are running, you see another pole about seventy-five meters away. Now, don't think about the ten kilometers you have to run. Just run from this pole to that pole, and from that pole, just run till the next pole. So, pole to pole, and before you realize. the voice of despair which says thak gaya hai and the voice of hope says 
वो पोल तक तो भाग सकता है देर यू से थक गया है वो पोल तक तो भाग सकता है अरे चार पोल भाग लिया ना दो और तू कर ही सकता है छ हो गए दस तो कर ले The voice of despair will tell you, छोड़ दे The voice of hope will say, थोड़ा और कर ले यू सेंग समिंग द प्रॉब्लम इज टेम्पररी इट विल पास इफ आई गिव अप टूडे फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ माई लाइफ आई विल रिमेंबर दैट आई गिव अप इफ आई कैन पुश माई सेल्फ फॉर अनदर वन वन एंड हाफ आवर्स फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ माई लाइफ आई विल रिमेंबर दैट आई डिड नॉट गिव अप वेरी ब्यूटिफुल I am answerable to myself and maybe to my countrymen. Somebody in my country would have taken a bet on me and said, "Isko bejo ye jaroor bhagega." And if I go back, so many people will look at them and say, "Ha, kya hua? Tu to bola tha ye bhagega." Hmm. I have already completed 30 kilometers. Just. Ah, 30 to gaya. 42 to bhagna hai. It's almost 70 percent kind of done. Only 30 percent remaining. Pole to pole. Chal, 31 to karte. Fir dekhenge. बारह छोड़ दे एक तो भाग फिर देखते हम्म सॉरी लुकिंग एट माई एम एंड माई फिनिश लाइन दिस इज द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू नो माई पोटेंशियल फेर न हेल्प द चिल्ड्रन टू डिफाइन दैट स्टेटमेंट एंड से वेन आई एम डाउन एंड आउट when i am hurt when i am not fit when i am not when i am not prepared for this kind of an eventuality nobody can prepare in training to fall at 30 and cut themselves and then still run there are some things which will never happen in preparation in these times when the voice of despair shame and blame is very very strong because voice of despair is always strong hope is feeble and soft and sweet so when i go through those moments this is how i will think give them an anchor let them define and create their own anchor for me i remember class then miss ila mukherji said you have no idea how good you are just go and do your job so similarly when this song came into my life it just rem- reminded me you have no idea how good you are just go and do your job you are good you are really good kar lega tu that was my anchor you have no idea how good you are just go and do your job what will be your anchor why don't you write it down how will you process this scenario when you are in very difficult situation when the voice of despair is strong and loud and ugly <coughs> strong loud ugly how will you process that situation Yes, darling. Remember the purpose. Just remember why you started. So beautiful. You have to start from A B C D again. If you give up now, you have to start from A B C again. It's day twenty-five. You remember how we started today's session? Day twenty-five. if you don't know it now you will learn it on the journey so today you are alone but you will find people vijay now or never now or never anil so beautiful a story can be written by learning small alphabets a chota sa alphabet hai but that is how every great story or a book begins from these alphabets very beautiful naresh so what so what na 
Such a beautiful thing, so what? Hmm. Just do it. Just do it. You like Nike? Ha ha ha. I don't know. If you look at soldiers, you will, they might say, life or death, kya farak hai? Why did I join the army? Hey, na? Hmm? Sirf khun hi to gira hai, jaan to baaki hai. Aray, apne shariir mein saadhe saath liter khun hai. Ho gira hai ho kitna pachas ml bhi nahi. Toh kya is ke liye ro raha hai, yaar? Chhod na. Hmm. I have been chosen for this task. I am the chosen one. It's it's a bend, it's not the end. And it's okay, you're saying, right? It's okay. But it's a big deal. Itna bada bhi nahi garug jo. Live life like a legend. Okay, and what would a legend do? Not give up, so I'm also not giving up. Fair enough. Rashida? You know, this is, we can sing in those moments, Hum Honge Kamiyab. That's all. I mean, that can be my anchor song, Hum Honge Kamiyab. This time will also pass. Hmm. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. I don't have any other option. Giving up is not an option. Hitting bullseye is the option for me. So when you complete the session inside the classroom, you are giving to children something that might be the turning point of their life in times to come. Every year, we prefer to begin the first session as a very, very powerful session. Even if the children come for just that one session of 40 minutes inside your classroom, their life should not be the same again. And your life should not be the same again as you think and process and practice this session. As you think about, you're going to make a difference in their life because they have to be convinced the voice of despair is not going to win. The voice of hope is going to win. Imagine what it will do to you. Where you don't give in to voice of despair ever. The voice of hope will win. Wish you all the best for your first session. May this first session be the turning point in your life as well as thousands of lives that we are going to touch.